I recently rewatched the sensational Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, and it got me wanting to do a tier list for all the movies in the Shrek cinematic universe. But I'm only counting the real, full-length, main four Shrek movies and the two Puss in Boots films. Starting with the original Shrek from 2001, this movie and the character of Shrek are both awesome. Who could have possibly imagined the cultural impact this one ogre would have on pop culture? The first film is iconic and establishes the phenomenal fantasy parody world of Shrek. Like Shrek himself, this is such a beautiful underdog movie. I love all the stories about illustrators not wanting to be moved from Prince of Egypt to this movie and calling it getting Shreked. I love the proto-meme dad humor of Shrek. It's weird, it's still funny, it's a classic, and the original Shrek firmly belongs in the S tier. Shrek 2 from 2004 is also amazing. This is the most memeable movie before memes were even a thing. The level of homage and pun are so strong, we literally studied this movie in film school. I love the weird direction they took this movie, and the soundtrack is great. There are several stupid and cringy moments, but it almost works for me as being this ironic pop-punk animated movie. It probably doesn't belong quite this high, but I'm putting Shrek 2 in the A tier. Shrek the Third from 2007 is terrible. This movie is so stupid and marks the point where Shrek sold out and tried to just be family friendly instead of a real movie with a story. Prince Charming as the villain is bad, the Arthur character is bad, the jokes and writing are bad, this movie is just terrible. Nothing has any consequences, it's just a weird stage for awkward jokes in the worst way. The animation is also the worst of any of the films by far. There are a few moments that were so poorly animated it was jarring. I would not recommend the third Shrek movie to anyone and don't think it belongs above the E tier. The final film in the Shrek series, Shrek Forever After from 2010, isn't as bad as the third. It's actually going for something, this movie has a plot, Rumpelstiltskin is an interesting villain, and I enjoyed what they did with him, but overall it's pretty meh. It's still just a weird family friendly average movie. If you need a third Shrek movie, I would recommend this one over the third, but honestly I would only recommend the first two Shrek films. Shrek Forever After is a C tier movie, barely. The original Puss in Boots from 2011 is funny and enjoyable. I loved all the Jack and the Beanstalk stuff, especially the ethereal scenes in the clouds. Antonio Banderas and Salma Hayek are great voice actors, and Zach Galifianakis as Humpty Dumpty was hilarious. He fit in well with the Golden Goose plot, and I died during the I was always there scene. It's not as good as the sequel, but they're pretty different movies coming out nearly a decade apart. I'm ranking the original Puss in Boots in the A tier, which I feel is generous. And last but not least, Puss in Boots The Last Wish from 2022 is phenomenal and is actually my favorite movie in the Shrek cinematic universe. The music is incredibly catchy, the visuals are amazing throughout, I love the vibrant colors and the occasionally choppy fights, John Mulaney is great as Big Jack Horner, the villain, but the character Death is my favorite part of the movie. He is genuinely chilling and the voice actor, Wagner Mora, Moira, is so cool. Their battles in the scenes where Puss gets anxiety are masterfully done. The story is solid and it focuses enough on its interesting characters to be compelling throughout. It's a great movie that I would recommend to just about everybody. I'm ranking Puss in Boots The Last Wish in the S tier. Do you agree with my ranking? Which movies would you rank higher or lower? Thanks for watching. For more content like this, hit like and subscribe.